Alrighty, hey guys, all I'm going to do is just spend this few minutes just going to go through this resistor worksheet with you. So it's just going to give you a little bit of information about resistors, the different types we've got, and basically what they'll do. So the first question you'll see on your sheet, which has just a couple of pictures of resistors and just like, what is the function of them? Well, I'm hoping you should know by now that the function of them is just to restrict the flow of current. So the reason why we do that is so that we can slow down the current and therefore not going to damage any of the components that we might be using. So once you fill that in, if you just look a little bit further down your page and it's talking about resistors as a passive component. Now, a passive component, any type of electronics, what that means is that it doesn't actually need any sort of energy in order to make it do its job. So even if it doesn't have energy, it's or energy to make it work, it's still going to be resisting. On the flip side, if you look at something like a transistor that we looked at previously, that does need an electrical charge in order for it to do its job. Now, resistors have colored bands, and what they do is they just tell you what the value of the resistor is. So we generally use four band color codes, which you can see here. So the way it works is the first and second digit is what we just give it a number value so for example this one is brown so we give it a number value of one black you look down it's a number value of zero now on a four band resistor the third band is what we call the multiplier so in, for example this one is orange so if you look down here and what that means is it has to multiply the first two digits which is a one and a zero by one thousand so what that does is it gives you a resistance of 10,000. Slightly different for 5 and 6 band. What you do with the 5 band one is just the third one is actually another digit instead of a multiplier. Right, the last one that we need to look at is tolerance. Now what the tolerance band does is it tells you how accurate your resistor is. So what this means is the fact that it says it's a 10k ohm resistor plus or minus 5%. That means that the actual value of it can be anywhere from 5% below 10,000 or 5% above it. Now the reason why that's important is because when we move on to looking at the next part which is our E24 series. So rather than having, let's just say, thousands and thousands of different resistors all with a different value. What we've done is when it comes to using resistors with a 5% tolerance, we've got something that's called the E24 series. All that is is 24 different values. Now every single resistor in the E24 series is all a multiple of 10 of every single one of those numbers. So for example we can have a 1 ohm, 10 ohm, 100 ohm, 1000 ohm, etc. Just like this, we can have a 2.2 ohm, 22 ohm, 220 ohm, 2200 ohm, etc. You get the point. So, the reason why these all have a tolerance of 5% is actually so that they all overlap each other, therefore covering every single value that we could possibly want. So, if we look at 10, now to make this a little bit easier, I'm just going to say in terms of 100. So, 5% of 100 is 5. So that means the lowest it could possibly be is 95 and the highest it could possibly be is 105. Now, if you look at the next one, which is 1B110. So 5% is, 5% uh, of 110 is 5.5. So the lowest that can be is 104.5. So and then if you notice that the lowest value of a 110 ohm resistor will be 104.5 the highest value of the 100 ohm resistor is 105 and therefore they can be overlapping so that would work all the way up the whole value of this E24 series yeah, and the last one we're going to be looking at is different types of resistors so the first resistor we're going to be looking at is this one here that one is an LDR which stands for light dependent resistor right, and the symbol for that LDR is just basically a fixed resistor as you can see there and it's just got two lines in just showing what well, it basically just stands for light so this is the symbol for our fixed resistor so you know what a fixed resistor does by now it just means that the value cannot change in terms of the symbol you've got two symbols 
you can see either of those they both mean the same thing just this is the European standard one and that one is the American version now this component here has got a couple of names it is known as a variable resistor or it's known as a potentiometer so this is the symbol for the potentiometer it's just got an arrow coming into the side which just signifies that loop there now in terms of spelling just potentiometer I'll just write it there just so you can understand exactly how it's spelled now the last one that I'm just going to go through this one's called a thermistor now this is just an resistor but the value can change and this one actually changes based upon heat whereas the potentiometer the value changes based upon you turning that sort of dial there so anything like the speed of the fan switches you got in school or any sort of volume switch etc and the LDR is just a resistor where the resistance rises or falls based upon the light levels and then this is just a simple symbol for the thermistor it's just very simple, just two lines straight through it. Okay, so that pretty much just concludes going through our resistors. Any questions then just come grab me or rewind this video. Cheers.